Okay, hey guys. So this is going to be a general reading for Cancer for the this upcoming week. And um, I'm going to go ahead and shuffle and lay them out. Um, I had a couple of people, actually, let's start off with the Oracle cards. I had a couple of people say they want to make sure that the cards are for them. So they want me to see me shuffle and lay out. So I understand that. I just usually don't uh, because it's a little louder and takes more time. But I understand. So we can start off with Spirit of the Animal Oracle card for you guys here. Um, and if you guys don't mind subscribing to my channel, I would really appreciate that. Um, and if you like the video at the end, if you want to give it a like and any comments are welcome. And I also have a uh, started a TikTok account um, about a week ago. So same videos pretty much on there, just uh, shorter versions. So we start off with the raccoon and its inventor. And it says, decide on what you really want. You have the ingenuity to claim it. Avoid being the trickster and practice integrity. You have many roles and can juggle them all. Or juggle them well. Sorry. Okay. So we're doing this for this upcoming week for cancer. Okay. So, so far we have earth signs and air signs and fire signs and water signs. So everybody being represented here. Okay. And uh, let's see, the sign that stands out the most here is Pisces and Aries. So um, some of you dealing with Pisces, some in Aries, and others of you uh, dealing with other signs here since they're all here. Let's see. I also like to look at these and just make sure with all the numbers. It looks like you have a couple sevens here. And the number seven is a uh, about like intuition and being spiritual. Okay, so we start off here with the Seven of Pentacles. And this card here is about like seeds well planted, like efforts will be rewarded in the future. And it just says to be patient and you know have faith because it will pay off looks like so seeds well planted okay next well and here we go nine, nine of pentacles so the seeds well planted leads you uh looks like enjoying the fruits of your labors so the hard work that you did is going to pay off and it's financial success and security and it can also uh you can also be self-employed and being happy at you know being self-employed and next is the moon card and with the moon it's saying to trust your intuition and um also it could be some secrets going on but it's uh, suggesting that you let go if you have some fears here let try to let go of your fears and this is also about uh, saying he has some psychic abilities. Next is a fool. Uh, this says take a leap of faith and to trust yourself here. You know, be going on a new journey. It's a new start. 
could also be a new job or a new relationship. But take that leap of faith. Next is Seven of Swords. And uh, this card here is, is saying to um, kind of take caution and uh, be aware because it could be a little dishonesty around you, whether it's you or someone else. But And if it's not dishonesty, it could just be like maybe there's some embarrassing secrets either you have or someone else has. And over here is with the moon saying secrets, maybe, you know, the secrets you have, maybe you have a fear, uh, you know, you have some secrets and you have a fear you don't want people to know or you think people, you know, maybe you're not going to either approve or not going to like you as well, or whatever it is. But with the card here, the moon card here saying, try to let go of those fears, you know, and try not to, to worry. If they like you, they like you. If they don't, they don't. Next is a four of wands. And this card is being satisfied with what you've accomplished so far. And it's also, it's a rest and relaxation. And it could be plans for marriage. So, yeah. Seven of Cups is next. And this card is telling you to make a choice. And to stop overanalyzing something. It could be having some uncertainty here a little bit. And this uncertainty and this, un this fears here and little secrets and stuff. But uh, make a choice here. And if it's a, or about marriage, maybe you have some fears or secrets and, you know, surrounding all this here. And, or if you're worried about marriage thing, try to let go of your fears and everything. And looks like the marriage can happen if you do that. Queen of Wands is next. Well, this card here is a uh, saying that, like, ambitious and brilliant and talented and to trust your instincts and the moon also says to trust your instincts and next we have the eight of wands here and this could be um, rapid changes so can also uh, represent stress from too many things like maybe there's too much going on but uh, a lot of times it's a good stress if that makes sense like maybe it's some changes going on that are positive changes and it could be a little stressed over it could be plans over marriage it could be you know whatever the secrets are here but let me pull one more card here King of Chalices, which is the King of Cups. And this card represents somebody who is uh, trustworthy and honorable and devoted. And it's a safe situation. Okay. So this is great to get because whatever all these fears are and these and could be secrets, fears, you know, and overanalyzing thing, overanalyzing things. Um, this is just saying that it's a trustworthy situation. It's a safe situation. This person is safe. This person is trustworthy. So I think that's um, a good card right here to get at the end here for you. Okay, Cancer. If you guys uh, wouldn't mind subscribing, I'd really appreciate that. And uh, if you like the video, give it a like, please. And uh, if you have any comments... Uh, they're welcomed. All right. Thanks a lot, you guys.